This is Greg Bem, one of the Spokane Community College librarians. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to access and use ArtStore. From the SEC Library homepage, click on A to Z databases. You will be taken to this page. Once you're here, scroll down to ArtStore. Click on ArtStore. The link will open in a new tab. ArtStore is located within the JSTOR interface. This is the main page for ArtStore. Note that at this time, the cookies disclaimer bar will continue to pop up when you click on new pages. So for this video demonstration, I'm going to leave the cookie bar. The JSTOR interface has the icon for JSTOR and a general search bar at the top of the screen. You can search for JSTOR content, you can search for images, you can do an advanced search. On the upper right of the screen, you can register for a free JSTOR account or log into a pre-existing account. You can also browse content in a variety of ways using the Browse menu. And the Workspace is where you'll find saved items when you're logged in. As I mentioned, ArtStore is located within the JSTOR interface, as ArtStore is a JSTOR product. The ArtStore search interface is listed here in the middle of the screen. As you can see, you can search over 3 million items in 308 collections. Scrolling down, you can learn more about ArtStore and browse all of the different collections that are available from museums, art centers, universities, and beyond. Let's practice using the search bar. I'm going to enter Picasso into the search bar. A few different options pop up. Just search for Picasso. I can search for Picasso as an author or creator. I can search for Picasso as a title of a work or within the description of a work. I'm just going to search for Picasso. If I click on the magnifying glass icon, it will open the search results in this new screen. As you can see, the JSTOR bar stays the same at the top and in the middle of the screen are the search results. We have 812 results for Picasso. <clears throat> As we scroll through the middle of the screen, we will see these different results showing up with a preview of the piece, the type of piece listed, the title, the year of creation, the creator, and the collection information. I can sort the results in a few different ways, relevance, newest, and oldest. I can download the result. I can save it to my account. I can cite it. If I click in on the result by clicking on the title, it will take me to the record for this, this different piece. With this image, we have all of the metadata describing the piece on the left. We have the viewer for this piece on the right. In this case, I can click and drag around to manipulate the image. I can use my scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in to the high resolution image to see the various aspects of the texture of the piece. I can even use the image tools within the viewer to zoom in and out, to fit to width, and to even do full screen if I want to see more of the image. Beneath the image will show me related images, be they from the same artist, or perhaps the same genre, or collection, or even style. If I go back to the search results, one thing I can do is use the filters to make the search more specific. I can search within the results, sort of an advanced search interface built into the filters bar. There's also the ability to filter by the type of content, so in this case, images or video, the date that the work was created, classification, what is the subject or type of resource that we're looking at, geography, and the individual collection. That sums it up for Art Store. If you have any questions, please reach out to the Spokane Community College librarians and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.